Hello guys, hope you have been having a great day. In this video, I'd like to explain to you guys about what push and pop opcodes are. So, among the various types of operational codes available to us in a microcontroller, the push and pop codes are really very special because these operational codes allow the transfer of data from an address to a RAM's internal memory. So these are those operational codes which allow the transfer of data from any address to a RAM's internal memory. That RAM's internal memory is referred to as stack. So the basic way to remember push and pop up codes is uh, that these are those operational codes which allow the transfer of data from any address to the stack. So now let us learn what push does and what pop does. So push is that operational code that transfers the or copies the data in an address to the stack. So now let us understand how it actually works. Consider a RAM's memory, that is stack what we are talking about, as a collection of addresses. So whenever we have an external address, say a data which is in some address to be copied into the stack, we push it. And when we push the data, the data gets copied into the stack. And before being copied, the stack pointer, which is denoted by SP, is incremented by 1. So, the next time when I want to store another piece of data, I push it. And when I push it, before storing the data in the stack, the stack pointer is incremented by 1. Now, the stack pointer shows to this address. So, my data is being stored in this. So, in this way, when I want to store new data, and then I push it, and then the stack pointer moves to this, and then stores the data there, and then here. So in this way, the data is stored from the lower addresses to the higher addresses. So as pushing continuously takes place, that is when data is continuously pushed into the stack, at one point the stack becomes full. When the stack becomes full, the data will be lost. And the maximum address is 7fh that is the top internal address of the ram so we are talking about 8051 microcontrollers and when data is continuously pushed and when the stack pointer reaches 7fh in the internal memory of the ram then i mean the internal address of the ram then the push data will be lost now let us see what code is used to push data to push data we use the mnemonic push in capital letters and then that is followed by the address say 00h so this is the mnemonic and this is my address so what exactly happens after I give this operational code is that first the stack pointer SP gets incremented by 1 after getting incremented, the data that is stored in 00H is transferred into the stack, which is the internal memory of the RAM. Now, we will see how POP operational code works. As, you, as you're already guessing, you might be, uh, POP is the exact opposite of the push up code. So pop up code is that which transfers the data from the internal memory of the RAM, that is the stack, to an address that is given. So as we have seen, pop up code transfers the data from the stack to an address which we specify. So this works in quite opposite way. So when I pop the stack, the, uh, the data that actually comes is the one which is on the top address so that data is popped into the address which I specify 
and then it is decremented by 1. The stack pointer is then decremented by 1. When we push uh, something, when we, uh, when we use the mnemonic push, then the stack pointer is actually incremented by 1. Now when we pop something, the stack pointer is decremented by 1. After the data is copied, note that as well. In, while using the push opcode, uh, the stack pointer is incremented before copying the data. While using the pop opcode, the stack pointer is decremented by 1 after the data is copied. So the data which is actually uh, in the stack is somewhere on the top like this. Then I have popped it into an address, say 00H. After being copied, the stack pointer is decremented by 1. That is, the new stack pointer is this. The stack pointer points to the address below the previous one. Now when I pop that, now when I pop the stack again, the data gets copied from the new stack pointer, that is the decremented one, the new uh, address, to the address which I am copying it to say 0 1 h so this is the way pop works now let us use how to you now let us see how to use the mnemonic pop as it's used in a similar way the only thing is you use pop in caps and write the address which you want uh, it to be copied say you want it to be uh, say you want the data to be copied from the stack to an address 80 h then this is the way you write it so the in this case the data is being copied from the internal memory of the RAM. We are popping data and we are copying it into an address ATH. So this is the way push and pop up codes work. Thank you. Hope you have got a clear information about this. Um, have a nice day.